previously mentioned before I screwed up. Okay? So, in, screw it tight, but not too tight. Alright, now the read. Here is the thing, the read. I have a Van Doren 3. Um, I think this is a red. First, you wanna wet the, wet the read. Mm. Tastes good. Alright, so, ligature, up, read in, and you want to 
Line up, pretty much. Leave like a little bit of space, but line up with the mouthpiece. Like a shirt down, screw it tight. Again, you don't want it too tight, because you don't want to scratch the reed. Actually, it's not even centered. I can't even sample the saxophone myself. Um, yeah, screw this tight, but not too tight. And there you have it! You're ready to play! Alright, that's, that's it. <laughs>All right, now that you have assembled your saxophone, let's try playing. But before we start, all right, you need to have proper embouchure, as my colleagues would call it. All right, first of all, you have to engage your core. Yes, give it powerful air, fast and powerful, which is good. With your mouth, you want lower, lower lip, you do a curl on top of your lower key, okay? Uh, it's like fighting. Ah. Alright. And your top teeth, the top teeth, gently on top of your mouth here, like there. Okay? So you don't want to squeeze too hard, or else it's gonna bleed. Okay, but the lower teeth, lip, on, lower lip on top. Ah, just a little bit, not too much. Alright, ah, it's not too much. You don't want to go too much, alright? Alright, it, it's gonna get you in the way. Alright, not too little either. Just a little. A little bit, ah, touching it, on top, top sheet, go on the top, and beautiful. Now that is delicious, just like the Bur Burger King hamburger. I love this. All right. Now, uh, in terms of fingering, look at fingering chart online because I don't have time to teach you. All right, all those crap. Your your job to learn. All right, but. In terms of armature. Alright, again. Again, you don't you don't want to squeeze too hard. If you squeeze too hard, no air comes out. Okay, so just a gentle, gentle, gentle bite. Okay, be gentle on your mouth, please. Okay, and there you have it, that's the armature. This core, engage your core, give it a give it a good and fast air, alright, and it's gonna sound good. Okay, now you should have your armature down. Your fingering is down, okay? And now, let's tune it! <laughs> I forgot to tune So, we're gonna go use my phone. You can use an uh, actual tuner, like professional musicians. But uh, I'm not, so I'll use my phone. Sound corset, this is the app that I'm using. I'm gonna turn on the bright brightness. All right, this is the app I'm using, all right? Not sponsored, by the way, but can you go to the tuner section? Alright, so it's just it's something like this. So if I... Ah, yeah, I, 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 I'm not a singer, but it works. Okay, so to adjust your notes on the side phone, it's all about the connection between your mouthpiece and the neck. Okay, so I'm gonna play a, a C on the saxophone, which is B concert B flat. Okay? Music theory, go teach yourselves, okay? So, uh, it changed, but before it was displaying that it was too sharp, okay? You want it to land in the green section. The green section, so if it's too sharp, you want to pull it out of it. If it's too, uh, if it's too flat, you want to push it in. Okay, so, in this case, we're going to just pull it out a little bit. Not too, not too crazy with it. Alright, let's try this again. And I need the green. So you might have to take some time to adjust your mouthpiece. But of course, I'm a pro. I only do it once. Um, I get it. Right? But in the end, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a marking on your neck. Right? And you, in, in the future, you can just use that marking to your advantage. And probably just put it there and you know it'll be fine. Okay? So that is, that is tuning. Now that is move. As requested by my colleagues to F blue major skills. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, now that you have mastered your armature and your fingering and your tuning, now we can move on to some 
Jazzy, Jazzy Blues. Oh yes. As per as of request of my colleagues, they wanted me to teach the F blues, the concert F blues scale, which is our G blues. Alright, because my G blues just sounds so good, they can't resist the urge for me to teach. So here I am, teaching the F blues. Okay, so it starts something like. Wow, beautiful playing. All right, so here's the how the scale goes. It starts on G, B flat, C, C sharp, D, F, G. And there you have it. Alright, now let us move on to something a little bit more advanced. Just a little bit, okay? Now I'm gonna do something that's called the growling. <sighs> okay, so here's how it goes. What you wanna do is speak. While you play. Oh, you wanna speak? Speak while you play. Mm. <laughs> okay, so how do you do? So you first want to play a note like normal. Okay, I, I choose the high C this time and you wanna see. Okay, so now you hear the sound rougher. Power! Okay, makes your solo more exciting. Okay, and that's exactly the, the goal, well sometimes, of your solo. You wanna make it, you wanna spice things up. You know, you're at a party, alright, you, you need to play a solo and you, you whip out. Oh, yeah, the crowd goes wild, alright? <laughs> alright, and that is the growling. Yeah. Professor Fan, can you give us an example of implementing growling into a solo? Okay, okay. A student has spoken and he wanted me <laughs> to play growling in a solo. Now I'm gonna use the F blues I taught previously. Okay, I'm gonna solo on our F blues and I'll spice things up. Okay? <laughs> Tones. All right. So with this one, what you want to do is change your armature rate. So it, it sounds like this. First off, it sounds like this. All right. So what you want to do is just lower your 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 lower jaw while playing. Okay, so you, Okay, and that's gonna change the pitch. It's gonna bring up the flavor. We're upgrading from a Burger King hamburger to a quarter round. You fucking donkey! Okay, that is the effect of microtones. Let me do this again. Lower draw. Back up. And there you have it, the microtones. All right, now, wait, okay. Now to finish things off, I'm gonna combine the two advanced techniques into one solo. Right, and let's see how this sound, okay? <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Unfortunately, our master class has come to an end. But before we go, we need to clean up our instruments. We need to take good care of it. All right, <clears throat> so I'm gonna put it back. First thing, again, open the case. Ah. Oh, and the unboxing uh, has nothing yet. Okay, first things first, read off, okay? We basically want to go in the reverse order as we start off. Hmm. Where is your Where is Okay, give this bad boy a lick and put it back in. Mouthpiece, off. Ah! <laughs> off. <laughs> okay, put it back where it belongs. In the cap. Alright. Give it a good tuck. <laughs> and now, neck. Off. And before you put the body away, something very important we need to do. And almost all the people I met does not do it. All right? Including me, actually. <laughs> I really do it. And my friend is really pissed off about it. But, well, we first, let's remove the next strap. Okay, and what we want to do is very, very special. Remember the swab I mentioned from the very beginning? Now is where it comes in handy. Settle this bad boy onto a solid surface we call floor. Ah, okay, so now notice this swap has a pretty heavy end and it's designed this way. Okay, so it can drop in, and this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop the heavy bits in, all the way in, all the way in. Very good, and now we want that heavier end to come out of this side so we can pull this thing right through so we can clean up the spit okay because if you don't know your spits are disgusting and they're all inside the saxophone after you practice okay, so we're gonna take the saxophone and we're gonna tilt it give it a good shake and you see the end is dangling off okay we're gonna tilt it back and we're gonna pull it through grab this pull give it a Gentle, <laughs> gentle, gentle pull. Okay? I wanna do this two more times. Three times in total. Okay, just to make sure. Just to make absolute sure that there is no spit. Nothing there. Give it a, a good rub. Saxophone. They'll appreciate your effort. Okay, and when you buy the next saxophone, they might give you a discount. Because the saxophone likes you. Okay, again pull, there we go, and one last time. Okay, now I don't know about you, but I had Burger King burgers for, for lunch, and it was delicious. Almost as delicious as my solos, with the advanced techniques involved. Ah, but not quite there yet. They really need to work on their seasoning. Right, maybe salt, pepper, and you know, maybe some garlic powder. You know, stuff like that. Anyways, here we have it. We're gonna put the cap back on. There it is. And gently gonna settle it down. Oh, yes, you don't wanna break it. And bingo. There you have it. Thank you for watching.
Master saxophone masterclass with me, Eric Fan. All right, I hope you had a great time, and I hope to see you sometime soon. Ciao. <laughs> Before you go crazy, let's let's just look at just from a couple of important things you have to teach. Tuning. Okay. Playing, just playing notes, I guess. You don't have to teach them all fancy fingers and stuff, just like basic okay. notes. No, that's for the next part. Yeah, that's, that's the F blues part. And then the next part is F blues. And then yeah. how to develop like a proper armature. Maybe I'll come out here and qualify to teach that one. Okay, good? No, you're not qualified teacher, but you have to teach it, you know? It's, it's just like that. That's like. Hey, he's the founder of Eric. Exactly. You have to respect. Oh, oh, oh that's right. Grandmaster Fat, you know? Oh, it's just let it blow for a while. Yeah, yeah. It's very weird. You have practice more than I